smell the popcorn because Hollywood is coming here to North Scottsdale with the Harkin Scottsdale 101. I am with Jason Carney, who is the executive director of the Phoenix Film Festival. How are you doing, Jason? I'm great. I'm finally getting to see you in person. Last time we were doing this on Zoom. Right, right, right. And we are full on in person for the 23rd annual. Yeah, yeah, Film 23rd Festival. annual. We're, we're gonna we're gonna party like it's 2019. 2019, yeah, right? right. Yeah, we missed a couple of those yeah, years yeah. in there. But this one is gonna be a big one. You've got some major, major movies. Opening night, this is interesting. The Ray Romano, Lori Metcalf movie. Yeah, it's so good. Oh man, I mean, and he's his first time directing, right? Right, yeah, but he's still like, he's just natural. Like, like he is an actor, just like, he's just so great in drama roles where he's just a natural actor in the film. Like, just has that natural feel. It just flows well. It just puts you in that neighborhood, that old like Queens neighborhood, yes. families, Italian families. Sebastian Maniscalco, it. isn't he in the movie Yes, too? yes, yeah. he is, and he's a, uh, so he lives up the whole Italian thing. Like, yeah. I'm Italian. I love oh, that man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. You, you, you won't be uh, disappointed. So yeah. you roll out the red carpet for opening night, but then over the weekend, over the course of the weekend, there's some really big movies. I am excited to see how this Michael J. Fox movie is. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be, it's, it's it's one of those movies that you're like, uh, you're going to cry a little bit, but also it's like Michael J. Fox. And I'm thinking about like what a, what a touchstone he was like in the 80s with family ties and then the whole Back to the Future thing. Yeah. Talk Hollywood and all these other things he's done over the years and, and to see what he's going through. But it's like, you know, it's very personal. And like, but, you know, there's that love with him and his wife. And he's still, like, at the heart of Michael J. Fox. You know, he's got Parkinson's, but, man. You can you feel just, him. Right. Now. You're just yeah. like, oh, you love him. It feels like a Michael J. Fox movie still. And you that know what I mean? stars Tracy Pullen, his yeah, wife yeah. as well. And Michael's in that movie, if you were wondering. Stephen Curry, this underrated movie, looks pretty good. And, and this is a player who was so underrated, so it's kind of a coming of age. Yeah, I mean, he, he wasn't drafted number one at all. And he kind of snuck down. I think he was like number five or six. The Warriors picked him up, and he's probably the greatest shooter ever. Like, he's one of those guys as soon as he gets across half court he's gonna put it up and he'll make it and yeah. so you gotta guard him but like he's just such a great person he and his wife do so many great things and, like hearing about his upbringing and where he came from and he went to the davidson uh, university and so it's, it's a really cool film so there's a lot of him in, i mean he's talking oh, a lot it's all this. about it's him all yeah him. it's all him talking and, yeah, and like a lot of interviews clips. with him and his family yeah. and stuff like that a lot yeah. of basketball clips a lot of those uh, great shots yeah. he makes um once again this year you've got a kids day which is free on saturday yeah absolutely first saturday uh, that's uh uh, I'm trying to remember what month it is. March. Yeah, it's right. March. <laughs> March 25th, uh, from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. We put up a big tent in the parking lot. There's hands on, like kids can act in front of a green screen with a costume on, and then it's take home like a USB with the footage. Oh, cool. That's really cool. So they can show it at home, put it online. And there's like screenwriting, animation, like all these really cool stations. I think it's 10 to 3, and yeah. all ages are all abilities. So bring your kids on Saturday. It is. It sounds like it's a lot of fun. Mine will be there. My four-year-old will be there. Really? Yeah, he's really, he loves it. <laughs> Although last year he was just cutting the scissors yeah. the whole time. Now he's advanced. Now yeah, he's now like, he, okay. Yeah, now he's like going to get in front of the camera. We'll see. <laughs> um, back to movies real quick, because I wanted to also touch on some of the horror movies. In fact, we are behind one of the poster boards for a, uh, boy, is this wild, Nicolas Cage as a vampire. But it's funny. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's so hilarious. great. It's like, uh, you know, it's more comedy than horror. But it's got those horror elements. And, you know, we're like, oh, Nicholas Cage should have been a vampire forever ago, I know, right? I know. But it's like, a, it's a comedy. It's about, like, almost like a workplace thing where this guy's trying to, like, Nicholas Cage is his boss. And he's trying to figure out how he can separate And he's got to bring him victims. Right. It's and a it's, trip. And yeah, it's, it's so good. It's our closing night movie. That's what it's I was going to ask you. That's deal. closing night. So that is a big deal. Are tickets still available for that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And you can see it before it's released in theaters. Yeah, which is in April, I think. Just watch the trailer. Trust me, you're going to want to come this Sunday and see this movie. It's totally wild. And since we're talking vampires, um, you're going to see a lot, well, some actors and filmmakers here. One of those actresses is Anna Camp. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have the, uh, she's in a horror movie called uh, From Black. Yeah. And it's the world premiere. It's going to be the only festival that they screen on before it comes out. Uh, it's picked up by AMC Plus and Shudder. It's going to be released soon, but we were the only festival to show it. It's directed by a uh, former uh, festival alum, Thomas Marchese. It's wow. his first uh, narrative. He made a documentary a few years back, and and it's great. This movie's really great. It's great to see Anna Camp like stretch and you know be, be a dramatic actor. Even well, though it has like horror elements, yeah, like her dramatic skills are just off the hook. And if you ever saw her on True Blood, which is where I made that vampire connection, she was so 
She was so good in that movie. She was like, you want it, you love to hate her. That's kind of that character. And now she's got dark hair and it's crazy. She doesn't even look like herself. Right. No, yeah, yeah. 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 Or at least the girl was the actress from that. Um, so it's going to start on Thursday. It runs through Sunday and um, it is always such a great, well put together event. I feel I like we should talk about one more movie. Okay. I'm gonna spring it on you. Yeah. I know it's called Spinning Gold. It's about the start of Casablanca Records in the 70s. You oh, know, this they is busted right up out, my right, They busted out Kiss and Village People, Gladys Knight. Uh, Donna Summer, like, all came out of this independent music uh, studio. And it has, like, a bunch of young performers, like uh, uh, Jason Derulo, Wiz Khalifa's in it, and Jeremy Jordan plays the, the record executive. And it's really fantastic. It's really exciting. It plays the first Friday. But, uh, yeah, I thought, uh, with, especially with Kiss, right. that's great. Oh, I should have been all over that to I think start the, with. Uh, the actor that plays, I think, Lee Freely is a local, local actor. Locally. So yeah, it's really cool. Okay, so we should have started with that, but anyway, it's okay. It's just there's 200 plus movies, so how do you possibly keep track? Uh, you go to the website, right? Right, go to phoenixfilmfestival.com, you can see all the films, the schedule, word about the parties, uh, you can watch trailers, everything you want to know about the festival.